everyone. Let me just add my quote. <laughs> my favorite quote is, um, I am not a product of my circumstances, but I am a product of my decisions. Um, my name is Tangela Mitchell. I am a political science major, Spanish and creative writing double minor from Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I currently serve as the 36th Miss Spelman College, as well as this National Black College Alumni Hall of Fame, otherwise known as Miss HBC. Absolutely. I think one of the most negative things about um, platforms like Instagram or any of those is that they're inherently curated. You know, I'm not posting my bad moments. I'm not posting when I'm stressed. I'm not posting those failing grades or the rejection letters from the, from the um, you know, the internships that I didn't get. I'm posting all of my positive moments. And while that can be inspiring, um, the lack of, it's, it's not a multifaceted platform. It's, it's, everything's positive. And so when we look at people's social media pages as direct rep representations of their whole life, that's when the comparison starts. And that's when it becomes negative because we're not working on the, on the, we're not assuming, which is the truth, that this is your highlights. <laughs> you know, we have that, you know, that you have the highlight section on Instagram. Everything on Instagram is a highlight. You don't need a highlight section. This is all the positive. So that is when it becomes negative. Um, and it's all based on how we use that tool. You know, so when we go in understanding that this is not the whole story, it's just a piece of the story, I think we'll be kinder to ourselves when we look at our whole lives. I was watching a panel discussion. Um, it was a panel of African-born African -born, um, melanated people, and then, of course, African-Americans. And they were just discussing why is there such a, a gap in, in the knowledge that you have in your history, and we don't have that gap, Africans. And so the answer was that black Americans are taught their history with the pages ripped out, you know? And we don't really have the luxury of, of asking questions because for a lot of the questions we have, there are no answers, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. Because those records are gone. And so, and that's a painful reminder, you know, to, uh, to have. So when we're constantly trying to push, like, where, where did you come from? What, what country, what particular African country is your family from? What tribe did you originate from? There's no way to tra trace that ethnic background. And that is, disappointing for a lot of us. So we don't, we don't interrogate, we don't ask those questions. And when you have a culture also, so it's that as well, but then we have a culture, black Americans have the most, one of the most vis visible cultures in the world. Everybody knows, you have people in Japan playing two chains, you feel me? Like we have such a visible culture and it's so big and prominent and it, and it, and it pushes forward everything. That we focus on that, a lot, of, a lot of the things that we do, we focus on that. We're not really as focused on the past as we should be. So I think those two things together um, are, are one of the reasons why we really don't know our history and we really don't interrogate it the way we should.